What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. We have got some SBCs today, the North America and South American SBCs. And indeed, as you can tell by the title, the Harry Kane Player of the Month SBC. First things first guys, if we could drop a thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. And secondly, of course, if you guys... Um if you guys, uh, wait, no, we're going to be talking about investment, secondly investment. So, uh, we found out at about 11, 10 past 11, quarter past 11, that Harry Kane was player of the month. And then at half past 11, his uh, SBC was released. So, people were theorising over what could be his, um, his like, things to do. So, I sold one of the informed Trippiers that I bought, that I bought them both for 17k. I sold one of them for 40k. And then it turned out that you couldn't use Inform Trippier, or you could, just not in like not in the, the, the way that you probably would have wanted to. And I sold the other one for 20k. So I bought two of them for 34k combined and sold the pair of them for tw for 60k combined. So I made 24k overall, which again just goes towards the whole fact between Gold 1 and Elite 3. Like that extra 20k coins that I get for those four games, I made right there, just trading a couple of Inform Trippiers. Um, the EA really like, they've tried every month to keep people on their toes, to stop people investing and, and getting what they need like really easily. And they've done a good job with that, but I feel like they've screwed a lot of people, like literally for the sake of screwing people in this occasion. I, I, you know, there are, there are instances where it's like, yeah, do something different, sure, do something out of the ordinary, but don't go out of your way to screw people over. I think that's a bit savage. I don't think that's necessary at all. Um... With that being said, uh, I, you, you can't use in the Harry Kane SBC, you need one in form from Spurs that's not a defender basically. So you need Son, Eriksen, Kane or Deli Alley. And um, you could have picked them up for super cheap 24 hours ago. I'm um, talking like, you know, Deli Alley for like 30, 40k. He's now discard, uh, sorry, he's now uh, extinct. His price range will undoubtedly get more expensive. And what's going to happen with the Harry Kane SBC, which is why I decided to bite the bullet and do it straight away today, is because it's only going to get more and more expensive as all of these SB, as all of these informed Spurs cards get taken off the market. Uh, you know, the same thing happened with Eden Hazard, where it started, it got to a point where it was like 300,000 coins for every single Belgian inform until we got another Belgian inform two weeks later in a team of the week. The same thing happened with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, where his regular gold card went from 250k all the way up to 800,000 coins. His Movember card was cheaper than his gold card for a little while. And then that went up to 800,000 coins. His inform went up to 800,000 coins. And with Harry Kane, all of Harry Kane's informs are going to go extinct. All of Son's inform, Deli Alli's inform and all of Ericsson's informs are all going to go extinct or become so high priced that it's nearly not worth it to do it. So for me, it didn't really cost me too much to do the Harry Kane player of the month. I have most of the players in the club already that we'd just saved up. I used a couple of my red cards during one of the SBCs that you'll see in a second that I think was valuable to do. Um, the only players, I had to buy a couple of players to get one of the squads together. I didn't have to buy anything for this squad because I saved that bronze in form literally for a reason like this. I knew it'd be valuable to me at some point or another. The only thing I had to do was use some consumables I had in the club to convert the strikers down to centre mids. Uh, I do know that they do, like, I pro it's probably about 10,000 coins worth of consumables I used, but I didn't actually pay anything for them. On this one here, I bought Harry Kane for 10k a few days ago. Um, I bought Christian Eriksen for 6.6k a few days ago. I bought um, Hyung Min Son for 150, and I believe even right now his lowest bin is like I think is extinct. I bought Wanyama for five and a half k and Dyer for 5k. Um, those were two cards that I should have picked up. I didn't. I thought I, you know, I thought I'd have been okay. I didn't think EA would require so many Spurs players, and I already had Sissoko uh, for Kane's goals. This is one where I already bought that Ryan Shawcross, which was great because he's so high rated that he helped the team. We bought him for, I think, 20k we bought him in the end for, so that was pretty decent. Uh, 3k for the CDM, 3k for the right back, and 1.7k for Carrasco. Everybody else I had in the club. That Quadrado is untradeable. Uh, I know he was selling for like 4k at the time, so uh, we, got, we ended up getting some good stuff out of him. And then last but not least, the special item hat trick. You needed 8 rares and commons, and then 3 non-rares or non-commons. So I used that red cater the Johnson card and basically I used three rewards that I got in monthlies and weeklies yesterday. Um, you know, I, I've, I've just, I just did it because I did it. It probably could have done it a bit cheaper, 
but um, I did it with what I had available in the club and then a few extra items here or there. Uh, one of the comments in the videos was that uh, like I I'm disrespecting my rewards and so on. How can I be unhappy? Kater's basically hull it. Kater's got a great card, not that version. He has an 86 centre mid card that is really, really good, but that 84 right mid version, not so good. It's not bad, and he would make a decent centre midfielder on 7 chem, but he's not as good as his 86. So I don't mind using him, you know, he cost, he cost me just the time that I put in. We get that 91 Harry Kane, and he's going to go straight into our squad for this weekend league. And all in all, it probably cost me about 250,000 coins for Harry Kane. Absolute start to finish. I, th I have a feeling it's only going to get more expensive as the, the two weeks go on. In fact, let me go into Footbin right now and have a look at the cheapest possible way that people can do Harry Kane. Of course, if you have some, an untradeable Spurs in form, uh, which a lot of people did, you, you take off an incredible amount of value if you have that in form. So the out on loan you can do for about 20k. Um, the Spurs one, it says it's 92k. It's not 92k. Uh, the special item hat trick is 60k. The Kane's goals is 30k. I don't know why they believe that the the uh, Spurs, what the uh, Harry Kane one is 90k because they're saying his, his 86 card is um, cheap for that. And I, I guess because I think it has an 80,000 coin max bin. It has a 75,000 coin max bin, but it's extinct. So, um, but if you bought him yesterday, he was going for like 40k yesterday, you could have made an absolute killing on him, an absolute killing. Um, I, I also recouped a lot of coins back from selling the Leighton Orient, the Millwall players, etc. So, although I probably spent about 250,000 coins out on everything, I pulled back in at least 70 to 80,000 coins, and we've got those packs to open. So... We did, all, uh, you know, all in all, when you weigh up everything, it would have cost me, after all said and done, about 100,000 coins. I'm more than happy to spend 100,000 coins on that Harry Kane. Now, let's get into some comments. Tony Ice Cream Van, brilliant name, says, Hey Nepo, do you think that keeping some retro cards could be a good concept? At the end of the year, you'll be allowed to attach three special cards that you owned as retro, untradeable cards to your club. You'll be able to use them in... Uh, FIFA every year and you can accumulate three more each year. It would be a great way of rewarding long-term players. It would be cool. For example, you could have saved Team of the Season Hulk last year who is no longer in the game and had an awesome card. We'd love to hear your opinion. Great video as always. Um, regardless of my opinion, uh, like it's not an idea I'm overly keen on. Uh, it's not a horrendous idea, but it's just for me, there's so much more better things they could put in the game. EA will never ever do something like this because once you get Ronaldo in any iteration of FIFA, you now have Ronaldo for every iteration of FIFA. So year one, you get Ronaldo, Messi and Suarez, team of the years. Year two, you get the next three team of the years. Before you know it, day one of FIFA, after four or five years, everyone will just have a full 99 rated squad and nobody would have to open packs. Definitely will never ever be in FIFA, ever. I will put, I will, uh, I will, you know, I'll, I'll eat my hat if that sort of thing comes into FIFA. Dan Sol says, hey, Nep, do you think the composure stat makes a difference towards the end of the game more than any? So for those of you that don't know, there is a hidden stat. Well, it was hidden in previous years and this year is the first year it's not hidden per se. But Foothead, Footwiz, Footbin, those sort of sites don't show it. But in game, every player has a composure stat. We don't know how that composure stat works, what it affects or how it changes players. But it might be a reason why certain players feel better. For example, Hyung Min Son feels incredible. Yet, I've played other left forwards there and they don't feel as good. Now, does Hyung Min Son have high composure? I don't know, I haven't checked. But if he did have high composure, that might be a reason why he feels so good. Um, what does a composure stat do? Is it in big games, close games? Is it for shooting only, for passing, for defending? I like. I, we don't know what it does to the point where... I couldn't say that it would make more or less of a difference at any given time in the game because we just don't know anything about it, which again is really poor from EA's perspective to just not let you know what it does. Um, I have looked for some literature. Remember when I found all that, that information on why certain players feel faster even though they might be slower and that's because balance, agility and reactions is important to pace, which we didn't really discover fully. I'm sure some people knew, but... I think it became a popular theory this year more than ever. I looked, I tried to find, I looked back in the archives, back all the way down to FIFA 11 to try and find what the composure stat does and how it affects anything, and I couldn't find anything. So if you guys do have some literature on what the composure stat does and how it affects players in game, 
it would definitely be worth uh, picking up for sure because I'd, I'd be interested to see how uh, EA describe the changes with c composure. Team Sinestro says, how good is Azpilicueta? He's brilliant, dude. And, and what's interesting is it's very difficult to notice any kind of difference between centre-backs. Reed's Walker, not Walker, Reed, Smalling, uh, uh, as Peter Quater, um, Bailly, Ramos, Boateng. If you gave them all the exact same character model, so they all looked identical in the game, I would not be able to tell them apart. Like, it, for me, it's, it's very, very much like a situation where um, every single centre-back, as long as they're a high-tier centre-back with very key uh, stats, you know, good pace, very nice defending and physical, it's very difficult to tell them apart. It really is. Um, Bray says, Nep, you have SPC Isco in your damn club. And this was, uh, this was uh, kind of like posted a lot. I don't. I use my uh, SPC Isco in the Real Madrid squad on my way to SPC Suarez. Um, and I'm glad I did. I, I wouldn't change it now to do anything any other way. I, would, I wouldn't prefer SPC Isco in my squad instead of like an 88 Isco or something. And Asensio has actually been great. The few games I've used him, he's done good, and then I sub him off at half time. I was going to sub him off early, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes, or at first pause, or whenever I thought, like, oh crap, I've got to sub him off. I thought, yeah, I'll sub him on instead. But he's actually, he's done a decent job in that midfield. Uh, I compared his in-game stats to Isco's as well. There are a few areas where Isco is head and shoulders better than him. But there are a few areas where it's like, yeah, it, like, actually, Asensio is, is a little bit better. He's got better physicals. Um... And, and he's got decent stats to, to play with. So I, I am still looking for that main midfielder to go there. I, what I'm waiting for, though, before I decide who that's going to be, because I might go back and get the 88 Isco again. I'm waiting to see what EA do tonight. And by the time you're watching this video, that would have already happened. I have a feeling something huge is coming at six. It's quarter to five right now. And I have a real big feeling that at six o'clock, we're going to get a full Barcelona special team. So based on what I get in those packs that I've got saved up, what I'll get in the marquee matchup packs that are undoubtedly going to be released at six, and uh, what they release will determine then what midfielder I go for or how I change my team going forwards. Um, next up, we got Bobby's Q. Maybe Bobby's Q. Look at this for a fucking goal as well. It, I passed back to the goalkeeper. It selected the goalkeeper. Like I had the arrow on my head as a, so I was a goalkeeper, and it wouldn't let me move. He was stood there, and he literally stood and span around in a circle on the spot. I was. I was furious. <laughs> I ended up winning the game anyway. I was furious. That, like, I tried to just pass back to the keeper to clear it. And the keeper was like literally stuck in the ground. I was so angry. Bobby's cute says, Nep, I was doing a Higuain SBC today and I finished every single team apart from Palermo because they have four extinct players. They all cost 10 to 20k. I don't think it's... It's crazy they cost that this much compared to the other ones. Shouldn't EA do something to fix this? Yeah, I mean, in general, I, I first of all, I don't understand why certain players become extinct or high-valued. For example, there's the bronze guy Apire of the MLS. How people haven't already done the MLS SBC by now, I don't know. But he's like 30k as a bronze card. The demand cannot be big for him. So I don't understand why he disappears instantly when he comes on the market. Who's sitting there spamming to get this card? I don't know. And it's the same with the Palermo wingers. The, like, the demand cannot be that great for these players. I understand that they was in a marquee matchups as well, so it would reduce them. But there's a few gold ones, isn't there? There's a few gold Palermo players that you can use, and they're extinct too. How? Why aren't these coming out in packs? And I don't know why EA force people to spend obscene amounts of coins on very uh, low-end players. I, I, just, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I wish EA would release, like, Calcio A packs or something for a week. Just flood the market with Calcio A players, get everyone to spend their money on those, everyone can do the SBC, happy days. Moto Luca says, the least you can get from 100k pack is 15k, and from Team of the Week is 30k. If you get unlucky in Team of the Week pack, you'll get unlucky in the 100k pack. Play 40 games. No, it doesn't work like that. If you get unlucky in a Team of the Week pack, that doesn't then guarantee that you get unlucky in the 100k pack. That's not how FIFA and packs work. It's not how the, like, the game isn't like, hey, he's going to get shit today. Like, it doesn't know. Until you press A on the pack, it doesn't, it doesn't send a message to get the players. You know what I mean? It doesn't work like that. Um, I do get where you're coming from. My, my theory behind that is, again, for the much less stress that I'll get 
um, and for the fact that two 100k packs have all special cards in, not just in forms, um, I, I think it's better to get the 100k packs, two 100k packs, or at least not worse. And one of the reasons why that is as well is because I could pack one, two, or three in forms in a 100k pack. I could pack legends, I could pack high rated cards, but more importantly, I pack a lot of players that will eventually go in SBCs that will earn me more packs that otherwise I would have had to have bought. For example, I had to buy Eric Dyer and uh, Victor Wanyama today, and it cost me 10k combined. Now, if I had got two 100k packs instead of that inform pack, I may have got those in the pack. Now, I wouldn't have had to buy them. I'd save myself some coins. And yes, whilst I also use some informs from those packs, typically speaking, the informs don't fluctuate in price unless they are directly relevant, like the Spurs informs today. They don't typically fluctuate in price. So the fact that you get 24 gold cards that fluctuate in price throughout the year and can be used in SBCs, I, I genuinely believe over lots of experience, over almost six months of experience, I genuinely believe that two 100k packs and 50k coins is more valuable than the one premium, the one premium team of the week pack, one 100k pack and 70,000 coins, but is not necessarily more valuable than the Elite 2 reward because of the extra coins, because you get an extra 50k coins compared to Gold 1, and is definitely not more valuable than Elite 1. So that's why I'm saying, like, if, if I'm 25 and 8, Elite 2 is difficult to get, Elite 3 would still be relatively easy, but Gold 1 would... I, I think Gold 1 rewards are better than Elite 3, but Elite 2 are better than Gold 1, and Elite 1 are obviously uh, up trumps. But anyway, guys, end up losing the fifth game there. We'll discuss that more in a second. We're going to get into the live section of the game. So, guys, only five games in the episode today because of all the SBCs that we've done, and we're going to talk about the teams and the account and where we're at and what we've got and what we haven't got. So it's still going to be a relatively decent-sized episode, I would assume, today. Um, when I spoke, I haven't read the comments yet from the video where I suggested that I only go to Gold 1. But today's episode, again, is testament to why I think I'm only going to Gold 1. I'm, li I'm so livid right now, with myself more than anything, at losing that game. And I lost that game to that opponent, Game 5, to make it 4-1, and one, just because I couldn't keep my cool. Um, you know, I went 1-0 up, I was generally controlling the game. The dude was a viewer, and he, messaged, he tweeted me after the game saying he was super lucky to win and I deserve to win the game, but it doesn't matter if you deserve to win the game if you lose the game, because you've lost the game. Um, and it, it just, it goes to what I was saying in that last video of the fact that I don't have the composure as a person, I don't have it in me to stay calm when I need to stay calm to be able to get Elite 1 or Top 100. And it's it, like I'm I'm angry right now, which is just tedious. It's one game, it's one loss. Like four and one is a decent win loss ratio. That would get me 32 wins over the weekend if I stuck that for the whole 40 games. If I did a little bit better, I'd get elite one, and a little bit worse, I'd get elite three. So I know I'm the elite one to elite three bracket of player, but I don't know if I want this stress on me all all the time every weekend. And it, it genuinely is so stressful. And it's just FIFA, and it doesn't really make a difference. And and I am so, super upset with myself that I didn't win that game. I was by far the better player. I had so many more shots. My goalkeeper made one save, and that was in the 90th minute after he'd already gone 2-1 up. And I'll show it in the video as well. You would have seen it. And so by the time he had his second goal, De Gea literally had made no saves, um, which is obviously incredibly infuriating. His, his Butland made like nine saves or something. I'd had 15 shots, 11 on target, a few long shots, a few from outside the box, but mostly really good shots from really good areas that he got auto blocks in or super saves or I hit the post with Messi on an open goal. Like, I can't keep composed enough to, to win those games. And it's not going to change this year. You know, we're six months into this FIFA right now. The problem isn't the the game, it's not the team, it's not the gameplay, it's not the weekend league, it's not the disconnects, it's not the silly losses or the incredible wins. The problem is here. This, I'm me, I'm the problem because I can't stay focused, I can't keep composed, and I can't just keep calm during the games where I should be winning but I'm not. Um, and for that reason alone, I, I, I'm definitely this week probably just going to get to 25 wins and then assess how I go. Because like I said, if I'm at 25 and 3 or 25 and 4 or 25 and 5, sure, I'll go and get elite because it'll be easy, you know, 4 wins, 5 wins out of 10 games, no problem. But if I'm 25 and 7 or 25 and 8, I'm just not interested. I'm just not bothered to go and do it. 
Um, I, I'd, I'd much rather uh, just relax after hitting 25 wins and uh, you know take the gold one rewards, take the elite three rewards for the month, which is exactly the same as elite one. Another reason why I don't care to push myself is because my difference between gold one and elite three and elite two isn't that great, especially with what we've already got in the club. And the difference between elite three and elite one for the month is literally nothing. So why bother? What's the point? I don't know what the point is. Um, anyway, um, the two teams I'm using, very good indeed. Uh, I, I actually enjoy using two teams now. I enjoy having the uh, all the different players to use over two different games. And what I think I like the most about it now is the fact that we are in a situation where we've got two complete incredible teams rather than two good attacks and midfields and then the same defence twice over. We've just got two awesome teams. Uh, Martial, of course, four games, four goals, two assists uh, with four and one. Uh, Harry Kane, I don't think he scored yet. He he takes... Have I got Harry Kane on the... Uh... Wow. Harry Kane's going to have no stamina. That genuinely might be one of the reasons why. Not, I'm not saying I, I would have lost the game because of that. Oh, he's, he's at 90. That's actually not bad. Um, but uh, he's only played two games, which is, uh, isn't the end of the world. Um, yeah, um, he, he strikes the ball really weird. It's very hard to explain, but he hits it like with the side of his foot. So in the two games, he hasn't scored any goals yet. But um, he's noticeable in the team. And if you actually compare him to Ibra, I know Ibra's a little bit taller and has four-star, four-star versus Kane's three-star, three-star. But for a centre mid specifically, Kane's high, high work rates are much better. And then Kane has better pace, better shooting, better dribbling, better passing, better defending and the same physical. So there are pro massive pros to both of them and almost no cons to either of them, which is very nice. Um, I am very happy with the two teams that we've got. I'm very happy having Nain Golden and Lacazette as my subs. Um, I'm very happy with the two starting lineups we've got. Uh, eventually, I'll look to, to switch out Asensio, depending on what EA do tonight at 6pm. By the time you're watching this, you would have already seen what they've done tonight at 6pm, if anything at all. Uh, but in general, I'm just... I'm just I'm just angry. I'm just I, and and I don't like I don't like getting angry at FIFA. You know when I play Division One, I don't get angry at all. So I bought that Trippier for 17k, sold it for basically 20k. So I did make a little bit of profit on him, um, and I've got a whole bunch of dudes just on the trade pile now that I'm looking to sell back on um, after investing in them for the Player of the Month. We've obviously already got the Player of the Month now. Um, a load of this stuff hasn't sold. I'll keep relisting until hopefully it sells. Um, but yeah, um, I, I don't like playing angry. I don't like getting angry at FIFA. You know, when I play Division One, win, lose or draw, I don't get angry, and and, and typically I win more. This is uh, we've won Division One title twice in a row: eight zero zero and eight zero one, and now four zero zero. So we're twenty wins and one loss in Division One. And let me tell you something: the caliber of players that you play in weekend league unless you get unlucky enough to come up against a pro or a top 100 player, are not as good as the players that you play in Division 1. Which means, again, it comes down to it being me. My, my, my inability to stay relaxed during games, that's the problem. Um, because I know I can beat these dudes. I should have, you know, it's, it's the same thing every weekend. And it must get boring to hear from you guys. It must do. I know it must do because it gets boring for me to say all the time. But I continually lose games that I could have won. And I'm not going to say I should have won the game because should have and could have are two massively different uh, kind of statements. But I definitely could have won that game. I sh I, you know, in this instance, I should have won that game. I created far more opportunities, clear-cut opportunities, and I conceded right at the end to a rebound goal. My keeper made one save in the 90th minute. Th those are games I should I should be sitting in now 5-0, and not 4-1. and And it's only one loss and it's not the end of the world. But that's, again, that's my problem because now I take this mentality into the next game and then the next game and then the next game and it fall apart and it's nonsense. I've got to sort myself out if I ever want to get into Elite 1 Top 100. And I reckon a good way to do that would to be to take a week or two weeks where I just hit Gold 1 and chill, Gold 1 and chill. Start dropping the pressure of playing foot champs because there's no pressure. There's no need for the pressure. It's just, it's, it's stupid. Anyway, um... I obviously completed the two new SBCs and the Harry Kane SBC to get these packs. I would assume at 6pm tonight we're going to get marquee matchups, which will give me some more packs. And then we're going to have a whole bunch of amazing stuff for the next episode because we're going to be opening all these packs. We've got an all players pack, a premium gold pack, two jumbo premium gold packs, three jumbo premium gold packs, two rare gold packs, a mega pack, a 50k pack, a premium gold players pack, two premium gold players packs. 
a silver players pack, a premium silver players pack, and a prime gold players pack. So we've got a lot of good packs here um, to hopefully pack something good this evening if EA drop anything. And with the marquee matchup packs as well, there'll be something very similar. Um, you know, another five packs to go into the kitty. Um, but overall, dudes, I'm just... I'm just frustrated, man. I'm so frustrated. I'm better than this, you know what I mean? And, and I don't mean I'm a better player than this. I think I've hit my peak in terms of my playing ability. But I do believe that that peak is good enough to be in the top 100 because I've beaten the top 100 players so consistently throughout the year. And then once again, I lose to a guy uh, who, at the time I played him, he was five wins and two losses, and I was four wins and zero losses. So he'd already taken some L's early on. Um, I, I just I, I should be beating those dudes and whether it's genuinely my age my reactions You know my hand-eye coordination whether it's my inability to stay calm under pressure I don't know what it is dudes, but I'm struggling to find that extra edge that I've been looking for for six months now This game's been out. This is the sixth month of the game. What do we have it? We had it October Because September doesn't really count right because it's back in the September so October November December January February a little bit of March and a little bit of September. So we are like five and a half months in and for five and a half months I've been looking for that extra edge and I can't find it. At one point or another, um, I'm going to have to turn around and be, you know, and, and suggest and, and take on board and understand that I'm not going to find it. You know, maybe it's, maybe it's time to just realise that Gold 1 is an easy achievement for me. Uh, anywhere in Elite is going to be a stressful weekend for me. So based on what's happening in the world, in real life, with my family. Um, gold one might just be like, hey, let's just hit gold one and call it a day for that weekend. Um, and again, it's not going to happen like that every weekend because there'll be some weekends where there'll be, EA will do something special. Team of the season, for example. I will want every possible good thing that I can get uh, with team of the season. So uh, there'll, there'll be different stages. But right now, during this specific downtime within FIFA... I just, I just don't know if I, I don't know if I can be bothered. I don't know if I can be bothered to put, go through the stress, the agony, the, uh, the, 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 the just the mental draining that is foot champs. Um, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. Over the next few days, you guys will figure out whether or not I go on to elite or not. Um, I might, who knows? I might not even get gold one. Do you know what I mean? Or I might finish just gold one naturally. I've done it a couple of times in the last ten or twelve weeks. Only, literally, only if, I think I went back and looked it in in the last fifteen weeks. I've finished gold one twice and then either Elite 3, 2, or 1. So it's very rare that I don't finish Elite. Um, it's just, I'm just, I just honestly, dudes, I'm just so angry. I just, and, and that's that's why I, 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 I realise that me being angry is tedious, it's pathetic. You, you know, I'm a 32-year-old man getting visibly upset at a game of FIFA. It, it's, it blows my mind, and I, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. But anyway, this is going to be the end of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.